Victim First is a victim support service and it's based in Leicester, Leicestershire and Rutland and we're part of Catch-22's portfolio of victim services across the country. Victim First takes a victim-led approach. We make sure that we're working with the service user to get control of what power they have lost by being a victim of crime. Everything that we do is to ensure that the victim is being put in the centre of their journey. Hello, Victim First. Chloe speaking, how can I help? The victim first support cases such as domestic violence, sexual violence, also burglary, um, antisocial behaviour and even crimes that have not really been reported to the police as well. We listen to what the victim wants and what they feel like would benefit them and we basically tailor our support around them. That can mean like phone calls, it can be face-to-face -face visits, home visits and even like visits in the community. So we've got people who are a little bit more knowledgeable around fraud, sexual violence, for example, but then also we've got our specialist caseworkers, our children and young persons caseworker, who will deal specifically with children and young people who have been victims of crime. So she'll have specific interventions that she can then use with those children so she can provide a little bit more in-depth support than um, your regular caseworkers who support the adults. We've also got the restorative justice caseworker who again is a specialist in that area. I provide support for children to um, kind of process what's happened. It's um, obviously led by themselves um, to help them, you know, feel better really after what's happened and to limit the impact that that might have on their um, later life and their development. The support is child-led, so it's obviously what support they need at that time. So that might be supporting them to process what's happened, which could just be, you know, talking about it and letting them talk about their feelings. We might maybe provide them with a worry monster um, where they can kind of write down their worries or their feelings. Um, and obviously they pop them in the worry monster and the monster eats them. Or maybe with the older children, sometimes we do worksheets. So that might be um, focusing on like making a safety plan or kind of concentrating on how they can build their confidence and their self-esteem. For me, restorative justice is quite a fancy word, really. For restorative justice, if I was to ask you what restorative justice is, the majority of people say, I don't really want to know. And if I ring them up on the phone and say, do you want to get involved in restorative justice? They'll go, no, because they don't really know what it is. For me, it's about if you've been a victim of crime, would you like the opportunity to let the other person know the harm and impact that's been caused? Simple as that. There's not a lot of people out there that deliver restorative justice. I think victim first are uniquely placed and it's probably our, one of our unique selling points that we put the victim at the centre of everything that we do and we design services around that victim to give them that support. So to have people have an opportunity where they can come safely, which is really important, safely discuss what the impact has been is a really important thing. And you'll find in terms of reintegrating division and uh, repairing harm that's been done, it's a really essential, quite a human thing to do, to talk to people and allow them that safe space and opportunity to do so. So one of the best things about the job is hearing that feedback from the victims that we have actually helped them to move forward. And, you know, we might have only been involved with them for a, a couple of times, but that has actually made a big difference to their journey and, and helped them to move forward. You don't have to have reported the crime to the police to get support from us. So if you've been a victim of crime, whether it's happened now or happened a long time ago, please do call us and we can help you.